I think it'd be cool to create a game engine. Although there's a lot of engines out there, you know, I think it's a great learning experience for any developer to try to create a tool that they can use to create games or create other applications. So in this tutorial series, we're gonna run through creating a game engine from start to maybe finish, who knows? But every video should have enough valuable information for you to start working on your own projects. Um, I'm gonna be programming this in C++ in a C style. Um, we're just using C++ because it has some good quality of life things that I wanna use. I don't wanna have to create an atomics library or have compatibility headers or things like that. I'd rather have a better standard. I love C, but for a big project like this, I'd say that C++ written like C will make creating things a little bit easier. I'm using C Lion. Uh, you can use VS Code. Um, the engine is gonna be made with CMake. Yeah, let's jump right in. So all I did so far was create a blank project, a CMake project. Um, for people who don't use CMake, this is literally all you need to create a CMake project. You need a CMake list file. You give the required version of CMake. You create the name, so you do project and the name of the project. You set the C++ standard. And you just create the executable and give it the source files. Um, along the way, we'll talk more about CMake, but in my opinion, CMake is pretty simple until you start doing some big, big project type things. So the first thing I want to set up is a basic entry and game loop. And right now, since we won't have any windowing or input, um, the game loop might not actually loop. But I want to show you how I like to go about setting things up. So actually, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new directory and I'm going to call it the base. And the base is gonna be a library that we create that has basic functionality for the engine. Now this library can be used for anything. It can be used for the engine or for other projects or for other projects inside of the engine. Let's say we made a shader compiler or a model compiler or an A sprite reader. We can use this base library to create other projects. And this is also how I'll set up the game loop because I have a little weird way of doing game loops that some people will be against, but in my opinion, it's the easiest to read, it's the most basic, it, and it gets the job done. So here, instead of add executable, you'll see that I'm putting add library. Um, for people who don't know CMake, this is just how you'd create a static or shared library. And this dollar sign with brackets is kind of like a macro or I, I don't know if you would call it a macro, but for example, this sources that I just put in there, we can just create something. We can do set name is sources and then give it source files. So let's say we had an H file, let's say we had a C file, blah, blah, blah. I know we're going to have a defines and we're going to have a base.c, which is just for compiling the library. And as you can see, I like to compile things in C and link them to C++. Now that can make your project a little bit more annoying to work with, but the slight speed up in compilation times when you start compiling some files in C, to me is something that you just cannot beat, especially once your project gets to thousands and thousands and thousands of lines of code. I like to compile um, at least the base library mostly in C. And then here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move this into its own thing let's call this engine eventually engine will most likely be a dll but for now we'll keep it like this we'll just have it be a execute and then we'll create the cmake file um well you're gonna call this um engine dev uh, yeah, we can call this engine dev. Let's actually rename this to base. Have a consistent naming style. Call this engine. So this is the engine dev. Or we can call this a dev environment. No, okay. Engine dev. And then for this, we're just going to add some subdirectories. We're going to add engine. 
and base. And that should be fine. One last thing. We're going to target include directories. Create this as public because this is the only executable. And we'll put um, base. And we'll do the same thing for our link libraries. And what this is doing is it's just creating our include directories and telling CMake which files we want to link to. So we're going to link to the base library and CMake will take care of finding out where this is because it's in the project. Here, we have to make it so that we show the include directories. So for this, all we're going to do is set this include directory as a public directory. So anything that links to base will get this include directory. And we're just going to make it our source directory in one slash, which will basically be wherever this is. So in the base folder, one slash, and now we can get defines.h. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty simple. Some people like to complicate CMake, do some weird things. I think the most simple way is the best way no matter what kind of project you're making. So now we have everything set up. We're going to reload the CMake project. We're gonna run it. Things built, I have hello world. Let's go into main. Let's include um, defines.h. I can't find it. Let's see what happens if I build. Can't find it. Let's see. Ah, I see the problem. Okay, so I accidentally put CMake source directory. We have to do CMake current source directory. Let's make sure. Source directory. Now, let me go here. Define study should be found. Let's try it again. I don't have it on auto reload. And now we find it and click play, it builds, perfect. So in the next video, we'll take a look at what we're gonna do in the base library to start. Maybe we'll try to get a window on screen and then we gotta take care of some other things first, but my mentality is to create at least an idea of what we wanna do, get the window, get all the, get all the stuff out there and then go back and add the systems we need, like a logger, um, job system, things like that. But first we'll try to get quick progress and then we'll go back and add to it.